This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. The financial markets so far in this baby new year have been cranky and irritable, not unlike a real baby after you've taken its bottle away. Only in the case of the financial markets, it's been the Federal Reserve taking the punch bowl away that has caused the market's petulant behavior. The Fed's triple threat of tapering their bond purchases, raising interest rates, and reducing their almost $9 trillion balance sheet has caused bond prices to fall, real rates to rise, and for all financial markets to adjust their prices to the realities of a more hawkish Federal Reserve. The market's recent volatility is nothing more than a math problem. When you change the inputs on an equation, the answer must change. Inflation was 2%, it's now 7%, might be going to 10. The 10-year Treasury yield is up 40% in four weeks. Valuations had to be repriced lower. It's like the seesaw or the teeter-totter in the playground. Higher inflation and interest rates on the one side going up, and on the other side, prices of financial assets going down. Now, it's not just the Federal Reserve. The stock market found another new issue to worry about this week, the fear that Russia may invade Ukraine. There's a lot going on, and markets, well, they don't like war. Now, this doesn't mean you should panic or head for the exits. The economy is still strong and recovering, and the markets will adjust. As I've advised for months, higher inflation and higher interest rates do the most damage to long-duration assets like bond funds and long-duration equities like technology stocks or the stocks of innovation, disruption, and cryptocurrencies. Keep in mind, it's never too early, or too late for that matter, to sell a bubble. The only true inflation hedge in financial assets are high-quality bonds with a fixed coupon and a fixed maturity date, commodities, and equities at a reasonable valuation. Now, folks, there is literally a world of opportunity available in non-technology stocks, not only in the U.S., but in markets around the globe. And this week's decline has only increased that opportunity. Now today, the only thing you need to do is to ask yourself one question in the spirit of the Capital One commercials. What's in your portfolio? Now my son, Ryan and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low cost, tax efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call. That's 844. 752-6692, that's 844-752-6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC, that's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.